My name is Pat McGrath and I'm an artist and today I'm going to do a little bit of Christmas craft with you. And we're going to make these little rockin' robins. So what you need is some paper. I have some brown paper and some red paper. I also have some black paper because I'm going to make a, a version for the spring as well, which will be a blackboard. And if you don't have any brown paper or red paper, you can use something like a, a brown paper bag or an envelope. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a circle out of the brown paper first. That's the first thing we have to do. So what you do is you get something that's a circle shape. I have this big tin. I don't know what was in it. I found it here in the art room in Axis and I'm drawing a circle around. And when you're drawing the circle, draw it as near to the edge as possible. Because that means when you cut it out, you'll have the rest of the page to work with. So I have my scissors. And be careful. Never run with scissors. And be careful. Always cut away from yourself. Don't hold the paper so that you're cutting towards your fingers. So you cut out your circle. It doesn't have to be exact. It's to be nearly a circle, but it doesn't have to be exact. You see, I have a black one here, and I have my brown paper one. And what you do then is you fold this in half down the middle. You get the two edges to match, and you just run your fingers along a nice sharp crease. And there you go. That's the body of our robin. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a little white bit because a robin has a little white belly. You can see I'm tearing that paper and I'm going to stick it on down near the bottom and I'm just going to take the lid off the glue otherwise it won't be any use. And I'm going to stick it on at the bottom just like that. And if it sticks over the edge, then just get your scissors and you can trim it off. And you do that on both sides. And you can see I'm tearing that. It's not even the same shape. Same shape. Ooh. So, more glue on that. Stick that on this side. Trim off the extra bit. And then we're going to use our red paper. And again, I'm just going to tear a piece off in a kind of a circular way. And I'm just going to look at that and see if it's too big. And I don't want any straight lines on it. I know some of the other bits that I made, I know these have straight lines on them, on the edges, but I don't want straight lines on this one. I'm just going to tear the edges of the paper. Put my glue on. And stick that on over the white bit and it overlaps. You can see it overlaps there. And now I need to do the other side. So I'll tear off another piece of paper. Now you can, you can cut this out with the scissors. But I like tearing paper. Good feet. Go mad and tear paper. So that's not quite as big on that side as that side. So I think I might stick another little bit on. It's okay to be messy doing this. Craft is all right when it's messy. So there, that's that much done. Now what's next? And what will we do next? We'll do the wings. Right, so for the wings, we go back to our brown paper. And what we do is, we get our little, uh, our tin, our big tin. And we just draw a shape. I'm just drawing a shape on the edge. You probably can't see that. You'll see it when I cut it out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be a little bit lazy, I'm going to fold that piece of paper in half. And when I'm cutting out one shape, 
I managed to put out two shapes. So there's the wings. And we're going to put a fold in the wings and make sure the folds are opposite. Do you know we fold one wing in, this one in this way, and this one in this way. So they go on the sides. We we'll put our little bit of glue on there. And we'll do that. And where do you glue the wings on? Just not quite in the middle, but pointing down. If you imagine this was a clock, if you imagine it was a clock, it would be pointing, the wing would be pointing down towards four o'clock. Right? Now, if you can't figure that out and your wing starts pointing up, that's okay too. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm going to do the one I made from the brown paper bag. Because I have already pieces cut out for that. But I didn't put the red breast on that, so I'm gonna do that too. And again, I'm not using the scissors because I'm doing it very fast. And there, yeah, that's the red bit on that side and a red bit on this side. So I'm making two at the same time. So did I go through, I don't think I went through a list of what we needed. We need some white paper, some brown paper and some red paper. And if you can't get those, although you can get them in most, most good, supermarkets you can get books of colored paper but if you can't get them you can just use like i say here brown paper bag or or you could just use a piece of cardboard from a box from a cereal box or something and you could cut all the shapes out of that and then you could color it in yourself with paint or markers or crayons now there look we have our two robins now, the next thing I'm going to do is the beak to make it look properly like a board. And for that, I'm going to use my red paper. And what I'm do, going to do is, I'm just going to cut a corner, diagonal piece across, so I get this lovely triangle. And then I'm going to fold that in half. And I'm going to put glue on both sides of it. Just on one edge, just on that flat edge, and I'm going to stick it in here, in between the two pieces. Now, you can see on this one, I've done it straight out, and on this one, I've done it at an angle. So I'm going to do it slightly at an angle on this one, so you can see that. And I'm going to use another corner. Triangle. I made a little brown paper board as well. Again, I'm putting glue only on one, one side of it, that top side. And slide that in there. Now, I have some feathers that I bought. You can't get feathers everywhere. You can get them in art shops and I think you might be able to get them in in the euro shops as well um, or you could go out and catch a chicken and pluck it or you could use feathers if you're going to use feathers that you find make sure you wash them first now if you're using feathers you could just stick the feathers in and there's your tail right now I don't know if this glue stick will work with the feather Usually what I do is I wrap up a piece of tape around the feather and do that. So, yeah, that's sticking up. If you haven't got feathers, 
here's what we can do. You get your piece of paper, your brown paper, and you put your two fingers down on the paper and you just draw around them. And then, we're gonna cut that shape out. See that, that was my two fingers. You see, and then I'm gonna cut that in half. And I'm gonna fold that finger-shaped piece of card in half, like that. And I'm gonna cut in little bits from the edge. I'll do that all the way down quickly. Until I get this, when I open it up again, my fingers are too big. Yeah, see? So you get this kind of feathery shape then. So I'm gonna use that. Put glue on the end of it. And just stick that at the back. Now if it helps, you can just put your board down flat and stick your feather down and then fold it back up. And you can see it. And if you want, you can you can move those little bits to like those, I don't know what they're called, what are they called? They're not called fronds. Something. If they were on a palm tree they'd be little leaves. And that's another thing we might do some other day, a palm tree. So that's a feather on his tail. So, and you can see on this one, I did three feathers. So you can do that if you like. And where is, here I have, if that feather didn't work for my brown paper board, I have a brown paper feather made. And I have a black one made here for my blackboard. I'm gonna stick that on there. Now, what I did with this one and this one, because I had the feathers, I put some Pritt stick or glue stick, whichever one you have, I put it along the inside of the wing, like this. I folded out the wing and I put the glue stick along the edge of it and then I stuck a feather to it just to make it more colourful. If you haven't got a feather, you don't have to do this part, but I think it looks nice. And you do that on both sides. But I'm gonna leave uh, the other side free because the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some googly eyes on it. And I bought this ages ago. Uh, it's a big thing, There's a, I don't know how many googly eyes are in it. I never counted them. But there's all different sizes, so hopefully they won't all fall out when I open this. No, they didn't. And I'm going to get two big, I'm going to use the biggest googly eyes that I have. Now, the glue stick doesn't really work for the googly eyes. Let's see. Let's see if it works. It might work on these because they're so big. Somewhere I think you can get googly eyes that have peel off stickers on the back and you just stick them on. Now that's staying on, but for the other side, I'm just gonna show you something. You can buy these little rolls of, what they are is, they have little, little spots of glue on the tape and you can peel them off. And then the tricky part is to get them off your finger and either onto the back of the googly eyes or onto the paper. Yeah. Now, that's a little spot of glue on the back of the googly eyes. You can use PVA glue if you have it, or any other sort of glue you have at home. 
be careful if you're using some glues don't stick things to your fingers or stick your fingers together because you don't want to go through Christmas with your fingers stuck together so there look that's it we'll just I'll finish off this blackboard because it's going to be spring soon and the blackboards are going to be building our nests going around the place now blackboards the male blackboards are completely black but they have a lovely yellowy orange beak and the uh, female blackboards are more brown they're a browner color so you can make them just completely out of your brown sheet if you wanted now I managed to find a little square of orange paper and I made a triangle out of that and I'll stick it on there and I'm going to use I'm going to try and use this glue stick to glue on his eyes yeah it worked Cool. He's kind of plain looking, but he's nice, I think. So we'll put him at the back. Put the robin we just made at the front, and do you know what? We might as well finish off him and put some googly eyes on him as well. All the googly eyes have to stick to me. And here we go. This is us nearly finished. There we are. We have our brown paper robin. We have our art paper robin. And we have our blackboard. You can do loads of these. You can do as many as you want. You can do them big. You can do them small. You can make whole families in them. And you can see they kind of rock like that, don't they? So, that's it for today. Thanks very much for looking in and uh, I hope you enjoy Christmas and make lovely little birdies. Thank you. <laughs>